Hi, welcome back to my channel. In the world of Hollywood, it seems like it's easy for stars to fall in love, and even easier to fall out of it. Divorce comes for many high-profile couples, but in some cases, a split wasn't the end of their story. Some stars have broken up with a significant other, only to rekindle their love. For a few lucky duos, the second try at marriage was the charm, but for others, the toxic habits that ended their relationship the first time reared their ugly heads again. From old Hollywood pairs to more current partnerships, here are five celebrities who've married the same person twice. Marie Osmond, singer Marie Osmond, and pro basketball player Steve Craig, wed on June 26, 1982, at the Salt Lake Temple in Utah. They welcomed their first son, Stephen, a year later, but not everything was picture perfect. After three years of marriage, the stars divorced in October 1985. Osmond went on to marry record producer Brian Blossel in 1986, and the couple welcomed seven children together before they broke up in 2007. Unlike Osmond, Craig had not not remarried, which allowed the former lovers to begin dating again in 2009, after years of co-parenting their child. Stephen was getting married, and we, we can't go to our son's wedding and not be married, Osmond told people of their decision to walk down the aisle again in 2011. So, we got married a few months before he did. He joked that he never thought it would happen, but it did. To make the second wedding even more meaningful, Osmond wore the same exact dress from their first wedding. The pair are still married today, proving that timing can really be everything. Elizabeth Taylor Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor first met on the set of Cleopatra in the early 1960s. Instantly feeling a passionate connection with one another, they started an affair, despite both of them being married to other people. Taylor was married to Eddie Fisher, her fourth husband at the time, and Burton was in his first marriage to Sybil Christopher. Burton and Taylor first tied the knot on March 15, 1964, and got divorced 10 years later. As Vanity Fair describes it, Taylor's addiction to pills, Burton's late-stage alcoholism, and his affair with the actor Natalie Delon, and the couple's frenetic lifestyle eventually tore the legendary lovers apart. A year later, the couple reconciled, and they married for the second time in Botswana in October of 1975. Their rekindled passion was not enough to make their second marriage work, and they divorced again for the final time on August 1, 1976. According to excerpts from Burton's diaries published by the Daily Mail, Burton's alcoholism and Taylor's failure to kick her pill addiction ended up being the demise of this tumultuous love story once again. Pamela Anderson Pamela Anderson married poker player Rick Salomon on October 2007 in Las Vegas. Unfortunately, by December, Anderson sought an annulment on the grounds of fraud, and the duo parted ways. But not all fires burn out so easily. The pair tried reignited their love for one another in 2013 and married for the final time in 2014. But things between them got ugly in July 2014, and they divorced for the final time. As reported by People, Anderson filed for a restraining order soon after, claiming that Salomon had been abusive and erratic. His representative had no comment at the time. Natalie Wood, Natalie Wood saw Robert Wagner for the first time when she was just 10 years old and admitted to having a crush on him. On her 18th birthday, she was set up on a date with him, and the pair hit it off immediately. After dating for over a year, they wed on December 28, 1957. They spent five years together when, due to the burden and pressures of fame, they divorced in 1962. After Wood went divorced, second husband Richard Gregson, in 1972, she reconnected with Wagner. The actors remarried in an intimate ceremony and stayed married until Wood's tragic death in 1981 at the age of 43. The actor drowned while on a boat trip with Wagner, her co-star Christopher Walken, and the boat's captain. The circumstances of her death are still considered suspicious, and in 2018, Wagner was named a person of interest by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Frida Kahlo, Mexican artists Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera, first met in 1922 when she observed him painting a mural at her school in Mexico City. While Kahlo was only 15 years old, Rivera was 25 years of age at the time. 
the pair got reintroduced in 1928 through the Mexican Communist Party and married a year later, on August 21, 1929. Their first marriage lasted only until 1939, due to Rivera's temper and both spouses' relationships with other people. However, on December 8, 1940, the duo buried the hatchet and remarried. Their second union lasted until Kahlo passed away in 1954 at the age of 47. Eminem, Eminem met his future wife, Kimberly Scott, at a youth home when he was 15 and she was 13. The future rap star was atop a table, spouting the lyrics to LL Cool J's I'm Bad when his future wife spotted him. Having no place to call home, Scott moved in with Eminem and his mother in the late 1980s. They welcomed their first child, Haley Jade, in 1995. The pair got married for the first time on June 14, 1999, just before Eminem's first tour. As any listener of his will certainly know, the couple had a tempestuous relationship, and he often wrote negative, violent lyrics about Scott. She struggled with her mental health, as reported by The Sun, which the rapper's increasing fame didn't help. Two years later, the couple divorced, while maintaining joint custody of their daughter. The pair remained in contact for several years following the divorce and decided to remarry, celebrating with a small ceremony in January 2006. Elon Musk, new Twitter owner Elon Musk and Tallulah Riley, an actor known for her roles in St. Trinian's and Pride and Prejudice, started dating shortly after Musk's divorce from Justine Wilson in 2008. The duo celebrated their love by hosting a lavish wedding in 2010. Not long after, Musk announced he was seeking a divorce from Riley, and they made it official in March 2012. However, a year and a half later, the stars reconnected and wed once again. In a seemingly prescient move, the tech billionaire announced their 2012 split in a tweet. As we conclude our deep dive into the lives of celebrities who married the same person twice, we're left with a profound understanding of the complexities of love and relationships in the spotlight. Through tales of heartbreak, reconciliation, and enduring commitment, these celebrities have showcased the resilience of the human spirit and the power of forgiveness. Their stories serve as a reminder that even in the glamorous world of Hollywood, relationships face their share of challenges, trials, and tribulations. Yet despite the public scrutiny and pressures of fame, these couples found their way back to each other, embracing the opportunity for a second chance at love. From the highs of a fairy tale romance to the lows of separation and divorce, their journeys exemplify the roller coaster ride that is marriage. But through it all, they demonstrated a willingness to confront their past, learn from their mistakes, and rebuild their relationships from the ground up. As we bid farewell to this exploration, let us carry with us the lessons of resilience, forgiveness, and the enduring power of love. May we all be inspired by these celebrities to nurture and cherish our own relationships, recognizing that true love often requires patience, understanding, and a willingness to forgive. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the lives of these remarkable individuals. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating content that delves into the fascinating world of celebrities and relationships. Until next time, may your own love story be filled with as much depth, passion, and enduring commitment. Farewell for now.